OK, guys, so in this one, we're going to look at how to bring across graphics from Illustrator into After Effects. I use it all the time. I do a lot of work, a motion work whereby I design an Illustrator and then I bring it forward into After Effects. And it's um, quite easy, actually. It's one of those things that they, it's really difficult to find out how to do. But when you find out how to do it, you think, oh, is it, you know, it's easy in the first place. So. Yes, obviously you can draw in After Effects and you can use the pen tool to create things. So if I draw a shape like this, I can draw whatever I want to do. And I create a shape layer, which I can then move around. But I find drawing inside After Effects really tedious. It's not the most natural thing to do for me. And I find I've got more control in Illustrator. But then it comes to a point of, well, how do I get it into After Effects? So let's just go head over to Illustrator and let's just have a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw. Let's create a canvas that's the right size in Illustrator, first of all. So we'll go to a, a 1080 setting canvas. OK. And I'm just going to. Imagine this is my logo that I've drawn. I've created a logo and it's a really exciting rectangle. We'll, we'll fill it. Let's, let's, let's be really advent, adventurous and have a fill. So there we go. So that's, that's my logo. It's really exciting, isn't it? Let's just even put on the word logo. Because logos tend to have words, don't they? So let's have the word logo. Okay. So... If I was to take this into After Effects, there's quite a few ways of doing it. So first of all, I could just save this file. So I'm going to save as, and I'm going to save it into the folder so I can get hold of it. Logo, all right? So I could now go back into After Effects, and I can come in here, and I can import that logo. So I can just go to After Effects, find my logo. And what we want to do is we want to import it as a composition. Click OK. And if I now double click this, you'll see I've got my logo and I've got layer one. I copy that, come back to my composition and paste it. So I've got my logo. Brilliant, you say. There it is. Um, but what happens if you want to do something with the word logo as well? So at the moment, it's just all together the whole thing is like locked together as one well in illustrator what you need to do is you need to break apart the bits that you're going to use so for example in here if i put this onto a separate layer at the moment it's on one layer if i bring this onto a separate layer by dragging that up so now the word logo is on one layer and the actual rectangle or square is another layer if i file save that again so bring that back in. So logo, composition. Now when we open that logo, you'll see we've got two layers. We've got the layer that has the logo on it and the layer that has the rectangle on it. So we've got complete control now. We've got two layers to do something with. So we could animate one or the other. You know, we could have something happening here or we could have something happening here. So these are now on two separate layers. So whenever you're setting your artwork up for animation in After Effects, make sure that you put things that you're going to animate onto separate layers. And you might have 20, 30, 40, whatever it is. It doesn't really matter. Put as many layers as you want. Save it. And then when you import it into After Effects, it'll come through and you'll be able to get the layers and do what you want with them. OK, so that's bringing an Illustrator file directly from Illustrator straight into After Effects. So let's just delete that. Now, the other thing you might want to do is you might want to bring forward the paths. Now, you might not want just the um, the actual shape, like the actual pixels of the graphic. You might want the actual path, the actual points here. Um, if we go back, and if I just undo a couple of things, you'll you'll notice that this isn't a um, an editable object 
it's it's almost like an image um and it sees it as an image so there's no no real properties in here that we can do anything with let's just get rid of that delete them oops that one and that one so what we can do is in illustrator we can bring the paths forward now to make this a little bit more interesting i'm just going to change the shape of this so you can see it a little bit better so let's just change the shape okay so this has got a bit more character to it and you'll see there's a few more points there's point there point there point there okay so if i copy this now i can then bring this into after effects now if i was to paste it nothing happen don't get anything you go edit paste nothing there the way you do it is you have to start a new shape layer. And the best way to do that is to just get the pen tool, click somewhere, it creates a new shape layer, and then paste. Now it's pasted the path. It's not necessarily pasted the attributes like the color, the line weight, things like that. It's pasted the actual path. Basically what it's pasted is this outline. <clears throat> okay? It's not pasted the actual attributes that we brought across when we saved it and brought it in that way. However, we can add those because we can go to stroke if we wanted to, and we can add a stroke and we can get it looking how we wanted it to look. So now this is a completely editable object that I can move about. So I could animate parts of the object itself, or I could use some of the, the tools inside Illustrator sorry, not inside Illustrator, inside After Effects to edit it. So one of the things you can add to something like this is a trim paths. I'm just going to get rid of the fill because it'll look a bit funky if I don't. And what you can do with trim paths is you can animate um, the outline. So you could have it animating around like this. So you can start it at zero, move the player forward to a second, and put it to a hundred and then now that will draw on and as you can see I didn't quite get it to a hundred got it to 98 there we go hundred and there we go so when you're working with your design and you want to get it from Illustrator and you want to animate it there's a couple of ways of doing it either importing it directly as a saved Illustrator file and you get the layers or you can copy and paste the paths into a new shape layer and then rebuild, add the colors and things like that in After Effects. Hope that's been useful uh, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.